the Orca plant, the world's largest carbon capture and storage facility. It is located on a lava plateau in southwest Iceland. This power station turns carbon dioxide into stones. It permanently disposes of CO2 rather than just recycling it. The facility was developed by Climeworks AG, a Swiss startup specializing in CO2 capture technology in partnership with CarbFix, Iceland's carbon storage firm. Orca means energy in Icelandic. The Orca plant was built in 15 months at a cost of around 10 to 15 million dollars. It began operations in September 2021. Now it can pull 4,000 tons of CO2 every year. This is equivalent to the annual emissions from about 790 cars. The Orca facility uses an intricate system of fans and filters to pull CO2 out of the air. The CO2 is then heated to about 100 degrees Celsius to release carbon dioxide as a pure gas. Then, the pure CO2 is mixed with water and moved to an underground surface that has basaltic rocks. In about two years, the dissolved CO2 solidifies as a mineral. Carbon capturing and storage technology is seen as a vital tool to limit global warming. The UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said that this technology is crucial to help the world meet its climate goals. According to a report from the International Energy Agency, more than 100 new facilities that use carbon capture, utilization and storage technologies have been announced in 2021. But this technology takes up a lot of energy for its operations. Power plants require more fuel to generate each kilowatt hour of electricity produced. Then there is the problem of cost. The cost of electricity production at a fossil fuel plant with capture technology is 0.04 to 0.09 US dollars per kilowatt hour as compared to 0.03 to 0.06 US dollars per kilowatt hour for similar plants without this technology. Then there is also the risk of CO2 leakage. Presently, the UN FCCC frameworks do not have any methods by which CO2 leakage from storage sites can be accounted for. However, experts say leakage is likely to be very small and also distant.